Will David Dobrik be broken after Jeff Wittick's lawsuit? Internet personality David Julian Dobrik was born in Slovakia. Before beginning his video blog on YouTube in 2015, he had early success on the platform Vine, which allows users to share and view videos. He was a co-founder of the photography app Dispo in the year 2019. David and Jeff Wittick are currently involved in a legal dispute. Hello everyone and welcome to another video on our channel. In today's video, let's break down what has gone down between the two. Yeah, you heard it right, so let's start our video. David and Jeff Wittick Incident there are exceptions to the rule, but friendship typically doesn't last forever. Jeff Wittick, a former friend of David Dobrik's who wound up in the hospital after a stunt gone wrong, has filed a lawsuit against David Dobrik. An accident involving an excavator that left fellow YouTube star Jeff Wittick with serious injuries that nearly cost him his life has led to a lawsuit being filed against David Dobrik. According to TMZ, Wittick, a former member of Dobrik's vlog squad who made videos with him and other influencers in that group, has filed a lawsuit claiming that he suffered critical injuries due to Dobrik's actions. According to Wittick, he accompanied Dobrik and some of the latter's pals on a trip to Utah Lake in Provo, Utah during the summer of 2020 to make a video that would be a part of Dobrik's social media return. Wittick went on to say that the video's concept was that Dobrik would park an excavator in the lake with a rope dangling off the bucket and then use the heavy machinery to swing people around in the water while they were riding on things like wakeboards and inflatable tubes. Nevertheless, Wittick claims that while they were filming, Dobrik recommended that they attempt one in which someone grabbed onto the rope while he swung them about in the air. According to Wittick, Dobrik, the excavator operator, started swinging the arm at unsafe rates before quickly slowing it down when it was his time. It caused Wittick to slam into the excavator's side and suffer many injuries. Jeff Wittick's Condition After the Accident after Dobrik was said to have caused Wittick to miss work and accrue medical expenditures due to severe injuries sustained in the incident, documents acquired by US Weekly show that Wittick is seeking $10 million in damages for general negligence and deliberate tort. The New Yorker alleges he was hanged from an excavator rope and suffered facial fractures, eye injuries, and a fractured skull. Initially, footage of the accident was posted to YouTube, but it has since been removed. Before this, Wittick has expressed his opinion over the claimed occurrence. In February, he went public on social media with the news that he had lately been subjected to the ninth operation of his career. The surgery went fine. There were a total of 10 surgeries. He posted the message on Instagram alongside a slideshow of photographs showing himself in the medical facility. At long last, he could remove one of these nasty plates from his eye. During the same month, the comedian stated unequivocally, that he and Dobrik have severed their communication due to the Slovakian native's apparent failure to reach out to Wittick after his friend was admitted to the hospital. Wittick claims he has lost salaries and earning power due to the incident and has racked up a considerable amount of medical debt. Dobrik and Wittick's Relationship After the Incident Dobrik described the accident as the worst thing ever happening to him on his podcast called Views. He said he would do everything to take back that day if he could. Even though Dobrik wishes he had been the one to perform the prank instead of Wittick, he maintains that Wittick was the one who came up with the idea. He believes that the former vlog squad member is truly upset with him because he broke his vow not to tell others that Wittick was the one who wanted to do it. Dobrik concluded that his friend was injured because he was driving. Dobrik has stated that this will be his life's greatest mistake. Dobrik stated that he sincerely sincerely hoped he would never have another time in his life that he would regret as much as that one. It has now been established that Jeff and David are no longer friends. After the collision, it seemed Jeff and David were on friendly terms with one another. At Jeff's request, David paid a visit to Jeff while he was in the hospital while disguised as Heath Ledger's Joker while wearing a nurse's uniform. Nevertheless, Jeff stated that while he was recuperating in the hospital, he started developing feelings of resentment toward David. He continued by saying, imagine you break somebody's skull and they take it on the chin. They don't sue you, and they don't pursue charges against you. He added that he was an inch away from passing away and an inch away from going blind before he was saved. He would have brain damage for the rest of his life, but he prevented him from screwing everything up. You would have been deported. You would have been placed in jail for manslaughter, and you could have sued for everything. He swallowed his pride and dealt with the consequences. At least the two of them appear to be in a great deal of discomfort. We hope that Dobrik and Jeff can get back to being good friends. Well, that's all for today's video. Tell us in the comment section how this video was. I really hope that you found this one interesting. If you want to see more videos just like this one, please consider subscribing for more. And don't forget to give comments and provide us with your valuable feedback. We'll see you in the next video with some more interesting, luxurious facts and stories. And until then, stay tuned.